San Jose State against 6 USC. USC is a 31-point favorite at home. It's 5 p.m. on the Pac-12 network. Don't have the Pac-12 network, so I'll be watching this on uh, Stream East or any any Shout of those streams. Stream East, baby. <laughs> stream East. We, we appreciate you, Stream East. Um, but again, USC, a lot of question marks in the offseason. They did a lot of stuff in the offseason, too. McCody, what sticks out to you when you're going to watch this USC-San Jose State game? Really, this is one of those games where let's make sure we get get sharp, stay sharp, kind of get into some game flow. Everyone gets mm-hmm. some touches. Caleb, maybe get to your 300 yards passing. Um, let's get out with no injuries. Really, this is one of those games. It should be mm-hmm. probably 49 nothing by the middle of the third quarter. We start putting our backups in, letting some younger guys get some reps. Um, so USC, as long as you guys stay healthy, tackle. Um, Let's see a little bit of improvement on defense. Don't let San Jose State get some garbage points and run up 28 points maybe in the mm. third and fourth quarter. Um, let's see if you guys can hold for it and really, you know, get like a 56-3 to three, uh, win like they did back in the Pete P- Carroll type days. So um, SC, I think they're going to roll. Great opportunity for guys like Zach Branch um, and some other young guys to kind of get into the game, get a feel for college football on a, on a high level um, and against a, an overmatched opponent in San Jose State. Those are good points there. For me, I'm going to look again, the wide receiver room for USC. Who's going to be that number one guy? Last year we saw it was Jordan Addison. We saw Spurts of Mario Williams. And then in the bowl game, we saw Brennan Rice went absolutely berserk. So Brennan Rice, Dorian Singer, trans from Arizona, Mario Williams. And then you mentioned um, Zachariah Branch. And then another freshman, Deuce Robinson, who was one of the, the top tight end last year. He's apparently, when I look at the depth charts, he's transitioned into the wide receiver role. So they maybe see him sure. as a guy on the outside. He's six seven six eight. So wow. um, this is a tough room. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Can Brendan Rice be that guy? Again, Rice, name sounds familiar. Jerry Rice's son. Hello. Yeah. Um, can he be that dominant guy and propel himself? It's his last season um, for the upcoming NFL draft. We'll see. But I'm stoked to see this receiver room. Yeah, you know, I think this is going to be one of those receiver groups where everyone gets, like, 40 catches. Because Caleb Williams is such a good, like, he's such a good ad-libber. Whenever the defense guesses right, he's still able to make it right. Um, One of the elite problem solvers at the quarterback position in the country. So just don't be surprised if you see, you know, like, if you look at their stat sheet moving down all year, maybe have, like, five or six guys with, like, 40 45 catches and maybe like one guy that stands out with like 60 and that could be like a Brennan Rice. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, I think that this wide receiver room is loaded, which I think means that there's enough footballs to go around for everybody. As long as everyone stays sharp, Dorian Singer, huge transfer from university of Arizona. I think that's going to be kind of step into that Jordan Addison role in terms of being like the go-to guy with a ton of experience. Mm. Um, so I think that uh, this USC receiving core is going to be at, Absolutely explosive and fun to watch, especially in that first game against San Jose State. Then on the other side of the ball, defense. Can USC tackle? This is a good tackling debut against San Jose State. Can they tackle? They've got a lot of transfers coming in. Anthony Lucas, the transfer from Texas A&M, Arizona kid. And then Mason Cobb, a guy from Oklahoma State, was their leading tackler over there at Oklahoma State. Um, He was there for media day, represented USC. And what we usually, Cody, when it tells me when – a transfer guy comes into USC and he's your representative for the defense at a media day. It tells me that this guy's yeah. already a leader. He's already had a big yeah. impact on the defensive side of the ball. Mason Cobb, a name to look out for. Um, but yeah, this defense, can we see some tackles? We, we will see. Can we see them tackle? That's, that's my thing that sticks out for this USC defense. That's the biggest thing, man. Like I think genuinely, if USC can improve – to middle of the pack in defense. That's how good this offense is. If UFC can be in the middle of the pack in offense, mm. I think USC is going to be primed and ready to make a huge jump this year. I know people are like, what are you talking about a huge jump? They went 11-2 and two and went to the Cotton Bowl. Folks, their defense was that bad, okay? That's how bad. They, like, that's why Caleb Williams won the Heisman. It's because he had to be that good. So when you have a quarterback that's that good, year two, he's healthy. If he's able to stay healthy and this defense can take that next step under Alex Grinch, watch out for the Trojans. And then the third game.